unto his father, mm -hmm. as thou but one blessing, my father, mm -hmm. bless me, even me also, mm -hmm. O oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and weep. Yep, and wept. You see, that's what happened. That's what happened to him. He wept. Okay, he started crying like a baby. Dumbass. It was his fault. Most I set it up, you were going to lose. Mm -hmm. You see, and I got this in he uh, Hebrew. Let me get this in Hebrew, man. Oh, what you got? Oh, what you got? Hebrew chapter. Uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Least there be any fornicator or profane person in Esau who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterwards when he was when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So Esau, the so-called white man, can't even ask for forgiveness for the things he didn't done. Man, he in trouble. All the dirt that he have done to the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, he can't even ask for forgiveness. He in trouble. All right, go back to that. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, mm -hmm. Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. Meaning all the natural resources, all, everything was going to be joined to Esau, okay? For the time being, until the prophecy be fulfilled, okay? All right, keep going. And of the dew of the heavens from above. Right. And by the sword shall thou live. By destruction, by the modern day gun. Everything that everything that this so-called white man got, it was by the sword and tearing down people's heritage and tearing down the inhabitants where they was to get what he needed. You see? Just like they, which we don't care about them Africans over there because they going in slavery, but just like they over there in uh, Sudan trying to get that oil, that's what they doing now. So you can see? I ask you a question, bro? So in other words, you're saying he came to steal, kill, and destroy. That's what the white man came to do. Just wanted you to see? make sure I was on the same page. That's what he came to do. All that's right? the image of the devil, right? The image of the devil. Now, the word devil means deceiver, okay? Diablo, so you know so you know what the definition of that word is. Deceiver means uh, Diablo, and that's what he did, deceive the whole world to tell to see the whole world to worship him through Caesar Bozier, because when you bow down to Caesar Bozier, you bow down to the white man. You see? So that's what he did to see the whole world, uh, uh, saying he's a man of God. He, you know, he the chosen people, which them so-called Jews over there, them rats, which they not the chosen people, but you pursuing the uh, they Amalekites. You see? They Amalekite pursuing the uh, Revelation 2 and 9. They not the real Jews. The real Jews are the so-called African Americans in this country. It's spread out throughout the earth. All right? Now, back to what you were saying. And by the sword shall thou live. By the sword shall thou live. So and that's the way the so-called white man. What you keep going. Keep that's going. the way the so-called white man got, got you know, bag up a little bit. Bag up. Good. Yeah, bag up a little bit. That's the way the so-called white man have got everything he got by the sword. Okay? All right. And shall serve thy brother, mm -hmm. and it shall come to pass when thou shall have the domination, the dominion, dominion that thou shall break the yoke off thy, thy neck. So that happened during the time of the house of David. Like I was saying in 2 Chronicles uh, 21 and 8. So you can read that, and, and that's when Esau rebelled against us during that time. So that prophecy already happened. But the prophecy that he was going to be put in slavery up under us and serve us forever, that's coming up. All right? Hey, can I ask you a question? Bro? Right. Out of, out, of all other, out of all the other prophecies that have been fulfilled, there's one undisputable truth, and that's the fact that there was a prophecy that was prophesied long before time according to the word. And even as this prophecy was prophesied before... What's the prophecy? 
before times, we've seen this prophecy. Even the world, the whole world has seen this prophecy come to pass. Which what's, what's that? Mothers against daughters, fathers against sons, wars and rumors of wars. Yeah, Matthew 24. Diseases indescribable. Yeah. Earthquakes in diverse places. Not knowing one season from next. Yeah, now, that's Matthew 24. Now this was all prophesied at a time beforehand, before man ever right knew. Now. Yeah, and we've witnessed this. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that even in that, even in us witnessing this, we witnessed that this is the darkest hour that has also been prophesied that this prophecy would come to pass during this hour. Right. So right. that there'd be no confusion who God is. That he, sh he he bring this prophecy to pass during this day and during this time so that there'll be no question about him no, being but the, God. But the thing about it, only the elect gonna see this. This is only for the elect out of Negro, Latino, and Native American. Because they blinded and they tell you that in uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 6, they're going to be blinded until the city be wasted, meaning destroyed, meaning America be destroyed, and uh, over there in Jerusalem be laid flat. Okay? So they're not going to see the things that we see right now until, you know, uh, everything is about to come to a head and be uh, destroyed. Boom. You see? All right? So only the elect going to see the things that you're saying and understand what's going on according to these scriptures. All right? In the, in the book of Matthew, we prophesied in, uh, in 50 AD, somewhere around now. That's when it was prophesied, in around 50 AD. Okay? That's when it was written. All right? Let's and go. Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the day of mourning of my father are at hand. That's, that's today. The Rothschild, they know they lying go back to the uh, Edomites. They know that they not the real Jews. That's why they trying to get back their birthrights right now. So they hate us. It's telling you. Read that again. Hate us. They hate us, man. The man. Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, this so-called white man, hate us, man. And Esau And it goes all the way back up to the elites. The can Rothschild, I, can I ask man. You a yeah. Do you agree that we, the, as 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 Black Americans, the only one that realize so-called so-called Black America? We really Hebrew Israelites. Right, 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 right. But right. we're the only ones who realize how much the hate, how deep the hate I, is. Hey, look here, man. Our people, two thirds of our people, don't. They want to love everybody. They join to this system. That's when you tell of. them the white man is a the devil, they'll look at you like you're out your mind. That's they join to this. That's system, what I speak man. of on behalf of the, the Latinos, because they've all just joined sides. Yeah, they join with this white man. So they not going to, if you tell them that the white man is a devil, and you try to tell them the Lord is going to kill them, they gonna hate and, you they, and they going, and the, and the white man is going in slavery up under them, they going to look at you and, uh, they gonna, they and say you crazy. You and and they going to say, oh, the Lord loves everybody. But what happened during the time of the Tablet of Babel? Genesis chapter 11, he destroyed it. We're not going to get together. You see, even during the time of the Maccabees, when Antiochus tried to get everybody to join together, they're not going to work. And that's what this whole New World Order agenda is about, getting everybody together, meeting them other nations, because they're trying to completely wipe us out to get the birthright back. They're trying to completely exterminate the Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Wipe them completely out. That's what they're trying to do. But it ain't gonna work. Because we the Lord's chosen people. You see? And the ones who get this truth and get an understanding, the ones the Lord gonna gather and get from that destruction. But the two thirds, they're gonna get caught up in that. Join with because they I join with the white man. That he said in these days and times that in all the earth that there will be a strange people in a strange land not their own and he said he would reach down he said he would bring up these people and he said these people would be like he said they'll be unlike any other people known in the history of his creation well that's that goes back into we're in a strange land right now we're in a strange land right now because it's not our home Jerusalem pursuing the uh, 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 Galatians 20 and 26. Uh, that's the motherland. 